What's up guys, my name is James Swearers, and today this is going to be part 3 of the Arch Installation Guide. So in this guide, in this part of the guide, we're going to make user uh, doing XOR networking, pulse audio, and then finally getting your desktop environment. For me, that's going to be GNOME 3. So let's jump right into it, we're going to log in as root. So if you, you should have a decently set up system as of right now, just the base system, not decently set up yet, but just the base system. So let's start from where we left off, log into the uh, root account, which should be root, and then the password we set during the first part of the installation. Um, next, we'll be making a user. So for me, I'm just going to add this user to the default group wheel. So we'll do user add dash M dash G wheel dash S slash bin slash bash and then the name of the user, which will be Antune. So then once that is done, we'll do password, like we did before, password, and then we'll put Antune at the end. And then from there, we can type in another password for the user account. So this is just for user. This won't affect your root password. So once that is set up, now you have your user set up. Um, next, now we're going to uh, stay in here, actually. And this is a ver another very important step. So when we're in our user, we have to type sudo. When we're in root, we don't have to. So here, we're going to go nano slash etc slash sudoers. And in this file is where permissions happen. And for other people, I'm sure you do. Uh, there's a better way to do uh, permissions in a more safer way than how I do it. But I do it where I give the my user account almost the almost I think it is the exact same permissions as root, except you do have to know the root password. So I'm just going to copy exactly what root shows, and something like that. So you'd put your username right here, and then all. Oh, all equals all in parentheses and then all at the end so that will give you pseudo or permission and we'll write that and then we can clear this out and then we can exit out so from there now we can go to uh, type in the username now and the password so now we are in the user now now we're in Antune at arch PC and at arch PC is the host name we set so we're at Antune the user at the host name or the whole PC arch PC so fantastic next we're gonna do is install a very very good program called Yarroot and Yarroot is um, a fantastic package manager that lets you access the AUR, and the AUR is the Arch User Repository, something where that's not in the uh, Pac-Man uh, normal repositories like Extra, Community, repositories like that. Th these programs are not in those where you can't just do Pac-Man uh, dash S. You can't, for these programs like uh, um, certain programs, you can't get them with this command with the package name afterwards. So the file we need to edit is the uh, pacman.config file. To edit this file in your user account, we'll do sudo nano slash etc slash pacman.config. There we go. And uh, yes, we will continue with that. And there we go. Um, we're going to scroll all the way down to the bottom. And you can see here we have different repositories. All these repositories can be commented out, like testing. If you wanted to use testing and you don't want to use the others, you can comment these out. You can comment the rest out and things like that. And the thing we're going to do is add our own. I highly recommend you add this. This is because we want to get uh, your root, and your it's fantastic, into what we need to do after we're done with our setup. So just copy it like that, like this, and I'll recommend, I'll probably just, I recommend you just pause the video when I'm done typing so you can get everything correct so you don't have to make a mistake if I'm typing or um, talking a little bit too fast. So dot fr slash parenthesis, oh, dollar sign arch. There we go. That should be good. Uh, yeah, we are good. So we'll write that to file, and you can see right there, Arch, Arch Linux FR, and you just write right like that, right under that, and you'll have the custom repository. We'll clear this out, and then we'll go to the next step. So the next step is to um, sync all the repositories. So we'll go pacman-syu, and there's other commands similar to this, and we have to do it as sudo, so we have to do it as root. So sudo, and it's gonna, that's going to synchronize all the packages. So let's do that right now, and great. So Edge Arch Linux FR is up to date. Now we can do sudo pacman dash s and we're going to do your root or your it i'm not really sure of the pronunciation of it um well, there we go now we're done with that we clear this out now and now we have your root. and your it's a fantastic program we can see here so we wanted to do your google chrome we could do that right there and now we can uh, continue with this and we'll do that at the end of the installation just so we can get google chrome up and running so next will be audio and to do that we're just going to type in pacman sudo pacman s pulse audio we'll continue with that and we'll click yeah uh, y for yes now we'll get all the packages you need to get your audio up and running for me audio works by default i've seen it before work by default but it's always good to get the proper drivers you need to get them anyway to do some different things with audio 
Also, we're going to get this dependency right here because I think, yes, we do need this ALSA. Um, that's a very good thing to have as a dependency that is very important to have. And uh, there we go. Um, FFmpeg will be downloaded by um, uh, GNOME 3. So when we do GNOME 3 in a moment, we will have that installed. So next, we're going to download um, Xorg. Xorg is very important. So we're going to do Xorg before we do um, anything else. So we're going to do Xorg. So pseudo pacman s Xorg. We'll install that. Click all for yes. Now this is the time to select your graphics driver. For me, for this installation, I'm not going to be doing anything other than this. This is just a um, a guide. But if you're willing, you want to have graphics. And depending, this is a very personal thing where I say like depending on your computer's build. If you have an Intel CPU, if you have a Nvidia card, if you have an Nvidia card, this is the tech thing I have is a Vidi Nvidia uh, graphics card. So it's pulling up Nvidia, 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 um, and Mesa Libgul. But if you have an AMD based ATI it should pull up I don't have an ATI system so I'm not sure how this screen would look where it says to choose your repositories for libgul but I'm assuming it will pull up ATI drivers if it does not and you know you're if, and you know that you're on an ATI system AMD um, and you know that you're on that kind of system and you still still see Nvidia and uh, Mesa then I highly recommend to go on the Arch Wiki, go take a look at the um, your model number, whatever that might be for AMD, type it in, and then with Arch Linux afterwards to see the installation of that. I can't test that out because I don't have an AMD system. So I'm just going to go with Mesa for this one, so we'll click uh, Enter, uh, Yes, and that will continue with the installation of Xorg. Very, very simple. Xorg is a, um, the X server manager that this lets you have a graphical interface. All right, so now it's just in installing everything, and uh, there we go. Let's see. Oh, no, we're installing more things. So um, you can see here it's installing X or fonts, all the different graphics drivers, and we are done. So great. We'll clear that out to get some room, and we'll move on to GNOME. Th no, actually, I'm incorrect. Whoa. Well, we have to get another package, and this is very, very important to make everything work right. It's called xorg-xi-init. And this is a very important package, and we will download that. And next thing is always get the dependencies for this. Because that will, that always tricked me up when getting this, and it never. I don't know why xorg dash x in it is not in the full x x in it xorg package. I don't know why it's not. It's a separate package, so I'm not sure. But we're gonna get both of these because these two dependencies are very imperative to you booting into your graphical interface. All right. Once those are, once those are set up, we'll clear this out, and now we'll get gnome three. So we'll just erase one of these gnome. There we go. We'll hit all and uh, that is fine for the default and we'll continue on so this is going to take a little bit you can see the install size is about uh, download size is actually only 200 megabytes let's see if this takes too long I'll have a cut so GNOME 3 is done installing and we're gonna clear this out and now this is another very important step is editing the XINITRC file so we're gonna go nano slash uh, no per, uh, tilde slash dot XIN ITRC and doing this will will make it we're going to generate a file here and in this file is where you type in different start commands so for gnome it's gnome dash uh, session and I'm actually going to populate this so I'm going to be right back to populate this with all the different uh, session commands so there are a lot of different um, um, desktop environments you can you can choose from so these, these are just a few examples of what these will look like so this is KDE cinnamon open box and this is gnome so for these I can just comment these out because just in case I do ever install them I can leave the commands here they won't do anything when they're commented out and so all these will be commented out except exec gnome session so execute gnome session so we're going to uh, save the configuration of this and there we go so now this is the moment of truth this is where you pray that you've done everything correct, installing all the correct um, graphical drivers, the correct everything. And when we do start X, which is the start command, we should hopefully get a desktop environment, GNOME 3. So let's see, and we get a mouse. Yes, we do. There's, that's half the battle. And we get a graphical interface. Very, very good. So we're here. So GNOME 3 works. It's a very, very good uh, desktop. Let's see if we have sound. I actually don't know. Let me turn my speakers on just to see if we have sound. Yes, we do have sound. Great. Fantastic. So I, my sound works out of the box, and let's see if we have network connectivity. So one thing we'll actually do is I'll show you how to... So one reason we need Xterm is so we can pull up Xterm here. And I'll show you a few things to use Yarut for. So Yarut here is what we use to get different things very easily. So when you install a ba the base system, now you need programs to populate this. So we'll get Google Chrome. 
and we'll go with the one in the uh, AUR, the Arch User Repository, and we'll hit No to edit that, and No again, and Continue Building. We'll type in my password, and yes, and that's going to install on Google Chrome. So very, very easy to use. Um, you just have to look up the Arch User Repository. So for the name of the Arch User Repository, so like you type in Google Chrome Arch Linux, you'll see that it's not in any of the direct um, repositories, not in Extra, it's not in Community. And you can probably download another repository to be able to do it with Pac-Man. So you can do Pac-Man dash s Chrome, um, Google Chrome. But it's much much easier to do it through Yarn. And Yarn is just a fantastic package manager where you can get quick packages and quick. So while Chrome is installing, we'll go take a look at GNOME extensions. And GNOME extensions are something I highly recommend to use. Um, GNOME extensions are a fantastic way to uh, extend the um, use of the uh, GNOME desktop. And I've, I've I've covered them a little bit in some of my customization videos. So we'll type in GNOME extensions right here um, it doesn't usually work in Chrome I think you can allow it in Chrome to make it work in Chrome but it's just much easier and no Firefox Firefox works out the box so you don't have to use this um, default web browser here that they give you with uh, the GNOME 3 desktop so here we can activate the applications menu and we'll press that on and now we have an applications menu and it's very very simple it, may, it really extends the use out of the desktop I highly recommend to get the drop down terminal just to make life easier so we'll get drop down terminal and uh, we'll just do that, boom, drop down terminal, we'll install it, and now when we hit the tilde key, probably it's going to activate my own drop down terminal in my real desktop, but it should also activate this one, let's see if I, I don't know if that's actually showing up, I hope it is, but when, it, when you use the tilde key, it will pop up a drop down terminal, and you've seen it in my other videos, I believe, where you can just saw it right there, where it pops up and it shows the drop down terminal. Very, very cool feature, uh, let's go see if Google Chrome is finished, and once uh, that is finished, we can continue. Yes, it has. Let's see. We'll, uh, yes, we'll continue the installation. Yes, and installing Google Chrome. Great. So great. So uh, Google Chrome is now finished. Let's see if it launches up. And great, we have Google Chrome, and we'll launch that up real quick. Uh, yes, okay. Make it my default. And boom. It's very very easy to do when you're installing with Yarrow. We'll even do. We'll clear this out, and we'll do uh, Yarrow. You can even do dash s just so you don't have. I recommend looking through the list, but if you do dash s, so we'll do dash s terminator term in a tour. Oh, uh, yeah, there we go. Great. So you can directly download something without even looking at the list. I recommend looking at the list so I see what you're downloading. Make sure you're actually downloading the right package. And there we go. Now we downloaded Terminator, a very nice looking uh, terminal emulator and uh, yeah so that's gonna be it for this video if you got to this part then you have successfully installed Arch Linux and congratulations I hope you uh, I hope you enjoy your Arch Linux installation now if you had any problems please comment down below and I will help you out as much as I possibly can with any problems you're having there's also a fantastic community for Arch Linux you can go on the Arch Wiki and go find the uh, look at the different video uh, different uh, um, forum posts they have about problems that people have so you can go take a look about that and uh, yeah so as always my name is Andy Suarez. please rate like and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next video